Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today I want to show you a quick deployable ridge line that will save you tons of time in the field. So stick around. For those of you that watch my channel, you know by now that I'm a fan of simplicity, especially when it comes to shelters. I want to get out there and get it done. Say it starts the downpour. I'm a firm believer that you're going to be soaking wet in two minutes or less. So I always pride myself in trying to get that shelter up in under two minutes. So today I want to show you a pre-made, quick deployable ridge line that will make life that much easier. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab between 25 and 50 foot of paracord, take one in and tie a bowline. All we're going to do is just rotate it over. Come out of the hole, go around the tree, and then back through the hole. Pull it tight. Taking our bowline, we're going to wrap it around our improvised tree right here. Taking my other end, I'm going to pass it through that bowline, and it creates a pocket. I'll grab a small stick for a toggle, place it inside that pocket. You've created an improvised Marlin spike hitch quick release. Pull the toggle, and the ridge line should drop. And on my opposite end, I tie the trucker's hitch. And from here, you're going to want to make three loops. What I did is I got two of the same size and one slightly larger. You want to make these out of number 36 bank line and tie them off using a fisherman's knot. Now, what you have right here is a one pound roll of number 36 bank line. And the reason why I'm choosing to make my loops out of bank line is simply because it's a smaller diameter and it's also tarred. At some point, we're going to take our loops and we're going to attach them to that paracord. The opposite end will be attached to our tarp. And because of the smaller diameter, it will actually bite into that paracord. So when we stretch our tarp out, it won't slip back on itself. Now taking my number 36 bank line, all I'm going to do is lay one on top of the other. Start with the one on top. I'm going to go away from myself, go around, towards myself, and then back through. And it forms that pretzel knot. Now the one from the bottom, I'm going to go over the top, back around it, put it through that hole. You got two pretzel knots and you pull it tight. Now grabbing one of your small loops, all we're going to do is we're going to tie it to our ridge line using a prussic knot. So all we're going to do, place it up underneath and pull it back through. Doing that one time forms a lark's head knot. Place it through again. Now one more time. Pull it tight and dress it up. And when it's all said and done, you should have the two small ones on the outside and your larger one on the inside. Now the true beauty of this Prusik loop is that whichever direction you slide it, if you try and pull back the opposite way, it bites into that paracord and it won't move.
taking all three of your prusik loops, just slide those down to the end where your bowline's at. Now what I do, take your hand, place your bowline and prusik loops between your two middle fingers. Now wrap it in a figure eight around your thumb and pinky. Get to where you have a good two or three feet left. Remove it. And all you're going to do is you're going to start at one end and wrap around. All the way towards your opposite end. Get your last three or four inches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tie it off with a clove hitch. So all we're going to do is we're just going to go around it. It creates an X right there. And I'm just going to run my remaining end through that X. And then pull it tight. And your third loop, which is a larger one, the one that's actually in the center, will give you the option to tie off a lantern, candle, or even a chemical light. Welcome back. This is good to go. It's small, lightweight, pre-made, quickly deployable, and best of all, I can toss it into a pack as is. And it's always going to be there when I need it. Thank you for your comments, views, support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.